Hi, my name is Angela Behrens. I am a student nurse, yeah. and today I will be demonstrating how to give an IV medication via CV. All right, so first we're going to be checking our medication. So we have Ritz and Emma, which is our patient. Um, she has no allergies, and she's receiving cloxacillin today. So cloxacillin, it says cloxacillin on here as well, 2,000 milligrams, and I only need uh, one gram, so that's perfectly fine. It can be given via IV, and every four hours via the SIVA. So the, the time is right now. All right. So, cloxacillin is an antibiotic, um, which is appropriate because since my patient does have a respiratory infection, it can be given by a student nurse. The maximum single dosage is three grams, and we are in appropriate range. And it is on two gram vials that need to be um, diluted with 6.8 milliliters of sterile water for injection. All right, so I'm gonna first dilute it my vial with 6.8 milliliters of sterile water. So I'm going to do some hand hygiene first. And I'm just going to check that they have expiration dates. It looks to be good and my sterile water is good as well. So I'm going to open these now. There we go. And I'm going to clean both. Clean one 30 seconds and dry for 15. And once again, for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. Right, and now I'm going to be pulling up. I have measured that I need, that's right, 6.8 milliliters of sterile water. I'm going to open these in a sterile technique. This one as well, not to contaminate my syringe at all. I need 6.8 milliliters. There we go. So the air into my syringe first to create a pressure. And pull out the 6.8 milliliters. There you go, 6.8 milliliters, and I have no bubbles. 6.8. There you go, that's 6.8 and I'm going to be inserting it right into my medication. There we go. Inserting it slowly. There we go. Oh, and actually, first I'm going to take some air out as well because I want to get rid of that pressure. There, now we can take it out. All right. So I'm just going to be covering up my syringe, my needle again. All right, so I'm now going to mix my medication not too quickly because i don't want to create any bubbles but i want it to be diluted and clear Alrighty. so now i've calculated that i need four milliliters of the drug so i'll get four milliliters of air actually i'm going to first clean it just in case i have contaminated my vial so clean for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. and now i can instill my four milliliters of air and pull out my four milliliters. There we go. Make sure I have no bubbles. There, and I have no bubbles, and I'm at four milliliters exactly. There we go, and I am at four milliliters of drug. There we go. I'm gonna do my second check quickly. So it's an Emma, the right patient, no allergies, and I have cloxacillin in here, uh, one gram. So one gram sums up to be four milliliters of the drug, and I have four milliliters in here. It can be given via IV, and every four hours, which is now, and I'm gonna be giving it per SIVA. All right, so now I need to look at my SIVA chart. So my SIVA chart says that cloxacillin, one gram, can be, so in 50 milliliters and 60 milliliter syringe, so I already have four milliliters and I've calculated that I need 46 milliliters of normal saline. And it's gonna be running over 39 minutes. All right, so now I can get my normal saline. It seems to be looking intact. There's an expiration date and it's still good and it's the normal saline. All right, I'm gonna get my syringe ready to pull out my 46 milliliters, keeping sterile technique. We're going to be cleaning the port. 
30 seconds, let it dry for 15. And we're gonna be pulling up our medication or our normal saline, right? It's a little tough. seems to be okay. There we go. Alright. Just going to scan and I will get my get my bubbles. I have a little bubble up top, so I'm gonna get that out. And I need about 46 milliliters exactly. There we go. So I have my 46 milliliters here, normal saline, and now I can mix my medications. So I've done my second check already, I have my 46 milliliters, and now I'll be adding my medication to the syringe. So I need 50 milliliters in total, I'm just gonna pull back so there's room for my medication. And I'm gonna be inserting this medication into my syringe. Up with a total volume of 50 milliliters. I can get rid of this in the sharps container. Alright, so I don't see any visible bubbles right now, so I'm gonna push up to 50 milliliters. See that I have a blood up top. There, perfect. My blood and correctly. I'm going to put my sterile cap on there just to keep it nice and clean for now. All right, and I'm going to put my tag on on the side that has no numbers. All right, so now I'm going to take the medication, my uh, line, which already has its tag on there for when it is done, and my alcohol swabs, and as well. All right, so as I walk into the patient's room, knock, do my hand hygiene, I'm going to do a quick safety check. My patient doesn't look like he's in any distress at all. Um, also, the side rails are up right now, so that's good. All right. Hi, Mrs. Wrightson. My name is Angela Behrens, and I'll be your student nurse today. I'm here to give you your cloxacillin, which is an antibiotic for your respiratory infection. So that will make you feel better. Um, you do have the right to refuse, but if you'd like to continue, I will continue giving the medication. All right, perfect. Um, first, I'm going to check your armband. So, could you give me your full name? All right, uh, your your birth, and do you have any allergies? No. All right, while I'm down here, I'm just going to check your IV site. So it seems to be looking good. It seems to be looking patent. I'm just going to press around the area. Does it hurt at all? No. Has it been bothering you? No. Okay. So it seems to be running, and all the clamps are open. My, It looks like I have the correct rate on right now. All right, so I can do my third medication check. All right, so it is with some MI check, the, the right patient, no allergies. Cloxacillin, so cloxacillin, 1,000 milligrams, correct, and via IV, that is what I'm doing, and every four hours, which is right now, for SIBA. All right, so I can prime my line. All right. There we go. I'm gonna put this side on. There we go, and I'm gonna use sterile technique to get that on there. So now first I'm going to actually clean my port. Clean it for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. Alright, I'm going to open up my little cap here and watch for a blood. So I'm going to keep these two sterile to make sure I don't have any bubbles in there. There we go. And I 
see my blub, right? And now I can attach these two together. There, so I'm attaching it to this one because the patient does not have any IV push right now, and I don't want the medication to be like diluting with too much normal saline on its way into the patient. All right, so now I can attach my, all the clamps are open, and I can attach my syringe. There we go. It's on there properly. And I'm going to lower the clamp one more time, and I can press start normal. I'll see three little blinks here. That's perfect. All right, so I can do my documentation. I don't have the right pen with me right now, but I would put my name and my signature beside the, um, I mean my signature and the time beside the medication. All right, Mrs. Wright, so I've given your medication. I'm gonna stay here for five minutes just to see that you don't have any um, reactions any like uh, allergic reaction to the medication. I will also tell you that the side effects of this medication are diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. So if you're ever feeling any of those, you can just call, press your call bell, okay? So it's right here beside you in case you need it. Are you comfortable right now? Yes, do you need anything else? Do you have any questions? No, okay. I'm just gonna check once more. Everything's running perfectly. All right, so I'll do my exit check, my hand hygiene, and I'm finished.